Hello and welcome back to Nomoria. In the previous episode, we've been sorting out our professions, really. Trying to get things a little bit more specialised, getting people working on specific things rather than trying to run all over the place. A uh, good example would be our uh, woodworker, who or woodsmith rather, who previously, whilst working on the sawmill, if they wanted a log and the log wasn't there, they'd go and chop it themselves, carry it back down, start work on it, want another one, go chop it themselves, carry it back down. And all that time spent walking between their place of work and the uh, groves that we've got, wasted time, completely wasted time. Now we've got a lumberjack whose job it is to cut down trees and replant them, so hopefully they'll work unfailing, well... Uh, I'm not going to say tirelessly because it's pretty backbreaking work being a lumberjack so I don't mind if he has a bit of a break now and then but hopefully he does get things done a little bit faster. If nothing else the logs should be cut down for our people working on the sawmills. Ideally these should be carted down there as well but uh, we can't have everything I suppose. Now you're working this as well. Why is the question. What are you doing? Right, stop, stop, stop. What are you doing? Oh, you are a lumberjack as well. That's fine then. Ah, yes, I did make two. That's okay. Because there is a, there are a lot of trees to cut, so... Hopefully, that won't be too bad. And once they finish cutting these down, they should then start hauling, because there won't be anything else for them to do. So we're guaranteed more people hauling when they haven't got their primary job to do rather than walking spending a load of time walking between two different jobs like between the fields and the kitchen for example when it would be better if they just were either cooking things or they were hauling things i'm just going to watch what you guys do once you finish there because that'll be it for your job for a little while actually you're going to have to chop those trees down next i think you're just taking clippings right now, and once you've done that, you're gonna fell the trees. Yep, there we go. Felling trees. That's fine, and replanting by the looks of it. Now, you guys, yes, finally, we're gonna get some crates up here so you can actually get your arrows stored, or bolts rather. We've got a lot of goblins over there. They are actually starting to pile up out there right now. But now that we have this done, the question is, how are we going to build a proper platform? Do I have it overhang the trees? Would that be bad for the trees? I don't know. I can only imagine that it would be, because it would cut off the sunlight for them. I suppose I could just adjust this for now. All right, come back over here, guys. You go train. And I'm going to get rid of this one. Yeah, we're going to de-designate this area. And designate a new one. It's going to be a new patrol. It's going to start here. To that one. Okay, let's go down to the right level. Everything seems to work a little bit better if you start it on the right level. There, 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 there. Okay. We'll just expand the rest of them. Oh, ah, okay. That's how that works. I've got to click on it again. Now go and start. Oh, wait. Nah! -ha! Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I forgot one vital thing. And that is. I need you guys to uh, upgrade this area. I need to raise it up. Otherwise, they're going to get punched in the face every time they try to shoot something. And that would not a happy no make. Let me tell you. But any clump. And while they're doing that, I'll continue building this. of stone uh, it's going to take him a little while I imagine to get over there
This is gonna be a project for a while, I think. We'll have the ramp be around somewhere there. Whilst that's happening, one thing I've been repeatedly advised is to make my groves smaller. So perhaps what I could do is actually remove the designation here. There we go. And I'm going to designate a new grove that's only going to be no, this big. Pine grove. Uh, I forget what the priority was on this one. But I want you to pretty much do all of that. Let's check this. What's, the, what's your priority? Your five, your six. Okay, we're going to make you four then. I'll let these ones grow, though I am going to uh, take up some clippings here. Actually, may as well just get everything in order. There we go. Now they'll just pull those clippings straight up. But we'll still have the clippings, and that's the main thing. Right. Let's continue with the soil wall. And while we're doing this, the rest of the fort is probably increasing in efficiency because the stockpiles are being sorted out. Oh, and also, let me go ahead and dig down ramps. Some people have even added me in Steam to tell me how stupid I'm being. Which is completely fair, because I was being a derp. Right. Remove designation. Nope. Remove... Cancel job. There we go. You're going to be able to get down here. Awesome. Remove this floor, please. And continue building this decorative stone wall. That looks quite nice, actually. And that one's been built. We're getting close now. We should actually build a floor. But they. Oh, hello. Let's get that built. He's probably going to have a lot of trouble with that honey badger, so I don't need to worry about him too much. Remove this floor. And this one. Fantastic. There we go. Right, let's actually build a couple of floors around here. And then have the stay on that point. It'll just be a little bit easier for me. And now we've done that, we can also just finish those two off. Excellent. And let's get a stairs up. Could be a soil stairs. And it can go there. And then we'll get some more soil floor. There. Actually, let's cancel those jobs because... Thinking about it, I was going to have this be a regular floor now. Uh, so we want floors out of... Let's make chiseled stone again. For no particular reason. And we'll take it in by two on each side. There we go. And this is where we're going to start getting the ramps up here. And then that hole that I've left is going to be a central pillar. Another tower reaching up to the heavens. Right, while you are doing that, let's move the screen back to the correct orientation. Uh, have you got any 
bolts in these? No, we do not. That is a shame. Mind you, I think I need to increase the bolt production, now, honestly. Let's have a look. No, not there. Here? Yes. Now, someone has pointed out that with 64 bolts, I'll more often than not have more than 64 bolts. That's fine. I don't mind. In fact, I'm happy to have more than that. So let's just pump that up all the way to 128. Um, oh, actually, having said that, yeah, let, let's go 128. I think that would be good. Now, how much rocks have we got? Oh, we got plenty. That's fine then. How about you guys? Ores, which we don't have right now. What we would like then are bars to be stored somewhere. But for the time being, I think we'll leave it. Let's check our stock, see how many, uh, how much armor we've got. Wow. Well, that's actually not bad. That's actually really good. So I can kit out two guys completely. Uh, let's get some more of that then. Well, that's Weaponsmith. So we want more boots. Let's do that. Well, we'll have two bronze boots. Another two, another two. And we'll leave that for now. Then I'll check back in a little while. Once we've got five pieces of armor, we'll go ahead and equip the Velvet Evil Doers with metal armor as well. Absolutely no point in equipping our uh, crossbow gnomes with it. But quite a lot of use would come out of actually having you guys properly equipped. Now we do have a, quite a few requests for uh, military gnomes, and that's going to have to wait, I'm afraid. Wow, have I missed a bunch of nomads? One nomad is right. <laughs> yeah, I did miss it. It wasn't really that much of a big thing. Probably died out there, alone, somewhere. Yeah, there. Oops. Sorry, Fald. Yeah, <laughs> you just, yeah. I guess the less said about that, the better. Let's, no, let's get that on there. And we definitely want some more furniture. We want some more torches out here. So we'll get another torch there. Maybe another one there as well. And what about here, would do. And whilst that's happening, let's go ahead and build up a another soil platform, I think. And then stairs up. Soil stairs will do. No. So now I'm going to put that there. Let's get rid of that torch and put it somewhere else. Let's go to furniture again. Torch. Any torch. Oh no, wait. We kind of want only pine torches, come to think of it. Oh well. If I've already told them, if they're already going to place a couple of birch torches, I'm just going to let that happen. But uh, generally speaking, that is a bit of a waste. I'm also going to... Hmm. Have we got any bolts in here? Okay, that's fine. Remove these designations and designate only one tile stockpile. Ammo. Uh, ammo. Yeah, ammo one. Ammo A. That'll be a little bit easier. Because if I ever get ammo Z, then I've got too many bloody ammo drop offs. Uh, that's under weapons, ranged, crossbow, bolts. Store them there. 
and use one crate. Okay, let's get some soil floors down. And another soil wall. Come on, dudes. Chop, chop. Oh, I wonder what my carpet is doing. That he's taking so much time. To get everything done out there. Because he should be producing these torches, but yet we're stalling on them. Right, I'm going to need to start designating more areas as well. What are you doing? Let's go... Well, no one's working in there at the moment. Right, let's check out. We've got one, two woodcutters, two carpenters. That's fine. Where are you? Woodsmith. Toz. You're crafting an item. Okay. And who else? Azzy. What are you doing? Sleeping. Okay, then. I suppose I'll let you sleep. Grudgingly. Well, I guess you do need sleep now and again. Okay, our stocks seem to be fine. Still got plenty of food. Now, let's check out our stocks of wood, though. We've still got an enormous amount of birch and apple wood and pine logs. So there's really no need to have that doing anything. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and suspend our birch grove and suspend our apple grove for now. I will get these set up again in the future. But for the time being, I would primarily like pine to be being stockpiled. Get some more soil walls built. And another set of stairs. No, that's in the wrong place. Damn it, what are you doing? There we go. That's what I want. And let's get some more soil walls as well. And what we're going to have is just a, a dirt floor sort of platform up here. Oh, that's the right level. So we'll have that Cross, so I don't know why I can't put it up in there. Oh, uh, wait, I'm not putting it in the right place, am I? No, absolutely not. This does get on my nerves a little bit now and then. Cancel job, please. Because I am a derp. Also, cancel these jobs. That would have been bad if I had noticed that. It would have, it would have connected it. All of a sudden, it's like, why are there goblins in my fort? What on earth has gone wrong? Right, we want floors on the correct level this time. Starting there. Phew. There we go. Now, I could set up the patrol route up there right now, but uh, we won't. Not for the moment. I will go ahead and floor off this area, though. And then they can slowly build up this soil wall as they go. <clears throat> that way I can get this place uh, with torches sooner rather than later and get them patrolling the area. What is that? Oh, that is a tile that is out in the middle of nowhere. Testament to my derp. 
Okay, we've got this going. Let's start making this look a little bit better. Now, I'm thinking we want torches. First and foremost, we want torches. Actually, let's make sure they're all the same type of torch. I don't really mind if it's an expensive one, given that it's the memorial, but I want them to all be the same colour, otherwise it's going to look stupid. There we go. Next. Um, I think we need more statues over here, honestly. But first, we want ramps. And we want... Oh, those ramps aren't going to go until there's something behind them, I see. Well, that's fair enough, I suppose. Let's choose stairs up then. Oh, we'll have block stairs. Um, and we'll have these in the centre of each one. And then chiselled stone walls. I'm doing it to, like that to ensure that they've got access to the walls from behind, so we'll just let them finish that. But really, we need these bloody torches. Why is it taking you so long to get the torches made? How much coal have you got? You should have loads. Yep, you've got absolute tons of coal. What about you? What is it that you're not doing? Yeah, you're probably getting stuck on building crates, aren't you? Damn. Though you shouldn't be building too many of them. And these, other than the barrel and the crate, everything else should be being carted off. Uh, hmm. Uh, we'll roll with that for now. But it could also be the amount of planks we've got. Let's just check on that. We've got 80 planks, 20 apple wood, 50 birch, 10 pine. We've got planks are plenty. What are the priorities? We've got priority four, and you should have priority three, if not higher. Yeah, two. Hmm. I'm not sure why that's not working. I mean, this is. It appears that our stocks of food and drink are going properly now. So check. Yeah, 61, 20 beer. The beer is always there. How about food? Again, yeah, 45 sandwiches. We're going good with that. Hmm. Well, we do have someone coming down, but he's having to carry it down. Why? I think we just may not have enough haulers yet. And that is annoying. There's still plenty of people who are sleeping in the dormitories as well. That is an ideal. Sooner or later I'm going to set this up so that we've got proper uh, military areas like barracks. How's that going? Okay, that's going well. At least something is working, right? We'll get this area done now. Now, I'm fairly sure this will work. We want stone ramps. Here, 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 take it around. I think they'll probably orientate these to face whichever way the ramp is meant to face, from what I understand. Oh, I think they'll be able to move 
along the ramps. Yeah, like that. That's awesome. Excellent. And while they're doing that, let's get some chiseled stone floor up here. Now the stairs are going to let them get up there to do that as well. That's not planned at all. <laughs> That's just a side benefit of it. Now what I'm thinking of doing is having statues in these little recesses. Let's actually go ahead and get that going. Now it's going to still be stone statues for now we don't have really any other options so there we go but you know it's starting to take shape now at least we're gonna have this area rise up for a bit and then taper in again and then continue rising but we're, I'm gonna wait until these torches are placed before I start taking this up any further because that's going to involve another layer of scaffolding but I could start placing that now actually so let's go ahead and get that scaffolding going uh, yeah let's, let's bring it out a little bit further then we'll have like more dirt stairs going up. This is making extra work for myself later on, but I, I, I kind of like the idea of the scaffolding going up around it. It's not my fault. Right, soil stairs going up again. And once again, what? That isn't right, is it? Where is it? Hmm. Yes, yes, that's fine. Good, good. And then we want another set of soul stairs there. But while that's going on, we've been neglecting this. Damn it. Too many things, too many projects. Too many things I can forget about. Now, we're going to need torches up here. So let's get those built in. And I would prefer these ones to be pine torches, honestly. So one pine torch there and there. That should do us okay. And for that matter, we really should consider moving this one. Because... If it's not on the corner, it won't shed its light down along the wall. So, we'll just set that up again. There we go, that was nice and easy. Now, I'm quite glad that our builders haven't encountered any trouble running along this wall. But, as we now have all of this set up, I can actually go ahead and designate the patrol route. Let's go ahead and do this then. Two, three, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now we want them to go along this walkway, at least to there, up here again, and then back. Now, that's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. They're going to spend a lot of time wandering around there needlessly. Who are you shooting? But once I've actually got the ramp coming down here and the walls properly set up, the, the steps which will be right there, it won't be too much of a problem. Let's keep going with this. Now, the other groves are growing fine. They're being 
left unmolested for now. Oh, I thought there was an archer down there in there for some reason. Trolls are going along all right now. And I think that's our time up for this episode. We have made quite a lot of progress on the monument, actually. And I've got a very solid idea in my head now of how I'm going to continue expanding it. We've also made progress on the second patrol area. And we are still setting up the walkway. It won't be long now before that's finished. And then we can focus on... More domestic matters once again. I need to build more personal quarters, clearly. And at some point, I actually need to completely overhaul this Great Hall. Maybe even change this into the Great Hall. Uh, replace the walls with something nice and expensive. I don't know. Maybe even make it a massive one there. I'd, yeah, maybe. I'll have to think about that one a little bit. But it seems that things are starting to get a little bit more streamlined. But there are still a couple of bottlenecks in here. I am going to have to hunt them down in the next episode. And probably the episode after that. And the episode after that. I hope you won't mind. But as always, until next we meet, do take care.